Good morning on Saturday, December 21st. This video will take you through the, an explanation of how we got to this point. If you'll notice the upper section, the triangular section of the keel and skeg, as well as the transom support plank are no longer in the boat. We spent a, quite a bit of time in the last two days building a, and testing a variety of, of support strategies so that the hull would retain her shape uh, as we replaced these major structural elements. A bracing system inside across what a uh, few uh, good sections of ribs we could find aft of the engine uh, was designed and has been implemented. As you can see, the result is uh, a sea of jack stands, both under the keel, supporting the boat, and then there is a series of cross members that have been added uh, inside the hull so that she retains her shape uh, during the, the time that she's going to be without essentially her spine from the engine aft. John will take us through the uh, results of the process that we began two days ago and have continued this morning to get to this point. That the keel, which has been replaced sometime in the history of, of Roxanne, uh, is in great shape. The tough part were, were the, the six threaded rods and carriage bolts that had been driven up through the, the keel and then the material above it. Once we released those, we breathed a sigh of relief that turned out to be false because the seam between the keel and the material we removed uh, was the one place in this boat that whoever worked on it last decided to use ample amounts, copious amounts of 3M5200. Releasing that scene turned into a, a, a nightmare because the last thing we wanted to do was to compromise the mating surface and or integrity of the keel. Replacing that pretty much would involve rebuilding the entire boat. Okay, even though it's the first day of winter here, we're working in the boat shop where we don't really care about the weather outside. Uh, this keel is held on with several lag bolts and some threaded rod which was bolted, nutted on the top and the bottom. And after several hours of figuring out how it come apart and pulling things apart, we started pulling these bolts out. Uh, then we got to the main part of the rock here where uh, it is going to come apart but it may not come apart in one section okay here's part of the rod is material my goodness okay and then we get this section here which I think it got loose. And then there's one out of right here. No. Nope. What am I doing here? Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe something like that. Wow. Okay. And as you can see, we need some thick material and plenty of it to replace that piece. We'll do our best to put it in in the most structural way we can get it in there. And unlike the uh, last time somebody was in here, John, uh, where there are two pieces of wood here, we're going to make this all out of a single piece, correct? Yeah, so we're going to try to make this all out of one and what's this? 
This all one, yeah, this is all one, but it's all rotted and split and dry rotted. And how about that brace? Is that this brace is also need to replace and it's all rotted, dry rotted. So and as far as supporting the bolt, we put jack stands all throughout the bolt. We put crossbars inside of the bolt. And there isn't any doubt that the bolt will hold its own shape at this point in time with all the bracing that we've got in it and all the jack stands that we got under it. And we got a little work to do, Mike. I should say, all those ribs have to be replaced, right? Eight of them. Eight of them. Mm -hmm. yep. And then, uh, if I remember correctly, up, up here a little bit further where that first heavy brace is, there was we just, actually... We need to sister the frames behind here. We have to restructure this piece of wood and it'll go on top of the two frames back here. And That'll be support, but it's basically this is still in pretty good shape right here. This piece of wood here has a break in it that we can fix. And then it's uh, actually 10 frames. This one's, this one's just a little rod, but there's nine frames back there and this one here, which we'll actually work on too, so yeah. It's interesting, this keel plank is clearly new. And it's amazing to me that they went out, somebody went to all the trouble to replace this plank, but not the rest of the keel and skeg that were above it that were rotting away. I think without taking the bottom planking off, they overlooked all of the rot inside the boat. Yeah. And of course, as we well know, this all pretty much all started with that incredibly bad repair of the uh, shaft log bore through the through the keel that, that just bad. it just in this back part of the boat uh, there was a continual pool of water the boat must have been stored tilted tilted down in the back yeah well okay. that's the report for the first day of winter uh, we've ordered some eight-quarter kiln-dried uh, white oak FAS grade that we will laminate so that we can get to the proper thickness. And by laminating it, we'll be able to run grain two different directions. And that will give us a much stronger uh, result than we have at present. So the deconstruction is just about complete. And from this point forward, Roxanne uh, will start having her parts put back together. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.